I don't believe that these things will succeed at the same rate and the same level that large corporations will. I was just doing a video about one earlier today, the, the Morpheus project. Okay, I, I'm not talking about small projects. I'm talking like big, everyday people are going to be using this, like Google, like Bing, like... You're saying everybody is morally bankrupt in AI, 100%? No, not everybody, but I would say all the largest players who will be mainstream, they are for sure. Morpheus AI is a great example of someone that's not because they obviously have moral... They're trying to decentralize AI, and that's something that you and I who are deep into technology, we will use those things. The average person, my grandmother, she's not going to use that. She might use ChatGPT because it's going to be on her phone eventually and it'll replace the Google search engine. And instead of Google search engine, I'm going to be using Google Bard, right? That's this is the great Mark Mark Web3 Ready uh, debate setting is Mark shut... Uh, in this situation, always, Mark Hopkins is the one with the, you know, wide eyes, rose, not rose-colored glasses, but, you know, really optimistic, uh, looking to the little guys. Mark is coming in and saying, no, my grandma's going to use chat GPT. So it's really interesting. It's true. I, I know what Mark Shutt's saying. Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take a step back because... The problem is here. I never disagree with you mm -hmm. because you know me and I actually you agree with you probably 150 percent. The points I bring up on camera are to be very realistic about the situation because I think most viewers, most people are not like us and not in a superior sense, but in the sense of we're just degenerate nerds. Like, let's be real. Sure, but like, I, and this is the we've already had this discussion, so I don't want to rehash the whole thing. But I would say that the with in the Morpheus such Morpheus example, it's a protocol. Yeah. To say that your grandmother will never use Morpheus is only true if you would also say your grandmother would never use TCP IP. Absolutely, she's not going to be at the protocol level, but she will definitely be using, if, if the project succeeds, it may not succeed, if the but if, if the project succeeds at its goal, she will be using tools built off the Morpheus protocol. I agree, but the reality is, is I don't believe, I don't believe that these things will succeed at the same rate and the same level that large corporations will. It's a marketplace. I mean, essentially, it's a protocol that's governed by a marketplace with Morpheus. So I, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not making a prediction that I think it'll beat ChatGPT, uh, but I am betting on it that it might. Let me ask you this: What happens when that marketplace is a weak version of the human being? It doesn't matter. Marketplaces are are the great equalizer because they're all weak human beings and strong human beings all exist within the same marketplace. Agreed. But what happens when the strong human beings create a product that the weak human beings are so susceptible to and easily have access to versus someone like you it's, and I? It's a battle. It's a battle. It's, it's a the battle, same 100%. thing we're seeing right now with the fiat dollar versus Bitcoin. 100%. It may be a long battle, but it's a battle that eventually the fiat dollar is going to lose because all fiat goes to zero eventually. And Bitcoin is a different form of uh, a different form of money that's engineered to not. Yeah. Right. So Bitcoin will eventually win. Is it going to occur in your lifetime and my lifetime? I don't know. Probably. I hope so. I mean, I'm, I'm betting on it. Hey, thanks for watching the merch. We've got a ton more stuff for you to watch on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, everywhere. Check us out.